guys, Aquatic Let's Plays and Reviews here, and welcome back to the channel for this very special occasion. It is a very exciting day for the Minecraft community, guys. We have our first Minecraft 1.19 snapshot. And it is divided into two sections. So we have two sections here. We have the deep dark section. Then we have the swamp section. Now, I am going to go over this first because I just want to recap you guys on this. And there's some stuff you should know. First off... The Skulk Shrieker does not work, okay? Despite seeing it work in the experimental snapshot, it does not work. The Warden is not, I repeat, is not in this snapshot. And the Ancient Cities are not in this snapshot, okay? So that is the Skulk Shrieker. Probably the thing that people wonder about the most. Now, the Skulk Sensor here, something you should know about it is it can be blocked by wool. When you walk in front of it with wool in front of this block, it cannot detect you. Or when you're in the deep dark in the ancient cities, it won't be able to detect you. Now, once again, the deep dark is separate from the ancient cities. The ancient cities are not in the snapshot. So, yeah, you can you can just block it on all the sides and it can't detect you once it has wool on it. It is also a redstone component. Moving on to Skulk. This is the stuff that comes onto the ground. Like, it takes over everything. Now, how do you get that? Well, I'm going to show you in a little bit something you need to know. So, I'm going to have to choose a different block here for this. So, I'm basically going to pillar up a little bit. And I'm going to use Deep Slate here. So, I'm going to use Deep Slate. I'm going to pillar up a little bit. pillar up here enough where a mob will die. Then I'm going to take down these blocks because I just need to. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the skull catalyst here. I believe that is enough to make a mob die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically turn this villager into skulk. Watch this. Huh. Now it should have it should have converted. I don't know why it didn't convert. Let's get rid of this just in case it was bothering it. Now let's try uh -huh. this again. Okay, something's up with that. Maybe I need to bring it over a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. That's odd. It was doing good in testing this morning on the other snapshot. Now I'm going to, uh, hmm, how should I do this? I've got to act quickly. I'm 
got to have one that will act, will do quickly here. And I can kill. Okay. Pig. <coughs> when I do anything close to this, it will convert. <coughs> to the skulk blocks. Now that's basically everything that you could possibly do with the skulk blocks right now. Now I am going to show you the deep dark biome. I'm going to make sure that I can get back to this area. So this will be the next section that I cover. You can already see we have a hog here. So, slash locate biome. We're going to now do deep dark. I'm going to click here. I'm going to have to go into spectator mode. We may have to have some night vision. Slash effect give effect give Lego Show TV night vision to the hundred. Come on. All right. So this is the deep dark biome. It is basically skulk everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Skulk is everywhere. There's hardly room. There's hardly any uh, places that there's not skulk. Hardly anywhere and there's not skulk guys. Okay. We have a whole skulk biome now. Pretty cool, right? Literally everywhere. Just about literally everywhere. So yeah, that's basically the biome. Now, like I said, the ancient city, sadly, is not in this snapshot because it probably wasn't ready in time. So, uh, yeah. Now let's get back to the swamp area. The only way to really do that is to trigger. I can do it right. Trigger. Spawn. And it always starts raining. Slash weather weather clear game mode creative. So we have all of the mangrove blocks. But we don't have the actual tree yet. Now we should probably get rid of all of this gold stuff so since we're done with it. Pretty cool, right? I agree. I think it's pretty cool. Bone meal. We're going to need bone meal. Now. We need to fill this in.
This is something I have been waiting for for several weeks. Me and Bryce have been waiting for for several weeks because of, we wanted to start a new season of Aquatic Man. Now we can finally do it. Get hyped for that as well. So we have this Propagule here. Now this is the first tree once it's fully operated, operating. To go underwater, then you can just kind of spam it with bone mill. I said you can spam it with bone mill. Spam it with bone mill. But right now, it only spawns oak trees in the swamps, which is literally everywhere. So, yeah, you can't actually get the mangrove wood in survival right now because it won't work. But you do have the basic things. You have all of the different wood things here. Not quite ready for that part yet. Okay. I'm going to just take out all the wood things here. So, we have, now we have red planks. Kind of like the nether update planks, you know. Kind of similar, but different. We have a boat. We have the normal plank. Pressure plate. Trap door. Mangrove strip wood, mangrove wood, mangrove stripped log, and the regular log. I am very excited to use these in the future. But something I'm more excited about is frogs! Yes, frogs. That's right. Frogs. You're like, You've already seen that on the other version. So why are you so crazy about it? And also we have the mangrove leaves. And the sign, of course. But, uh, yeah. Mangrove leaf. There it is. Now, you're saying that you've already seen, that I've already seen this. Yes, I have already seen it. Okay, I know I have. You can't say that this is not the cutest one. Cuter than the axolotl in the bucket. They have a tiny little tadpole that can grow up into a frog. And spawn these. And you've got frog spawn. And these will break after a couple of minutes, kind of like turtle eggs, in a way. So, yeah, let me show you what happens when you get a magma cube. Magma cube. Magma cube. Now, we have to kill the magma cube, of course. Then we can spawn the frog. What will happen? Now you're probably wondering what is this? If you've not heard of this, this is frog light. It's what happens when a frog eats a magma cube. Weather clear. What happens when any of the frogs eat a magma cube? Depending on the biome, you'll get this one, this one, or this one. Now, I can confirm that goats are not 
the food of the frog on here on Java Edition. They are indeed not on the menu for the frog. Now let's go to a different biome if we can here. A little patch of sand here. Okay, maybe not. Uh, slash locate desert. Go to a villager. A village desert. Maybe. Or not. Uh, but. Yeah. Locate. You now we need to just locate a desert. Okay, there it finally goes. I don't know why it was lagging. So now, okay, zombie raid is going on. Now, if we did, we have a light frog here. Tropical frog. Tropical frog here. And if you kill sword. Feels so awesome having. What's this? Come on. Eat the little magma cube. Come on, eat the magma cube. We get the purple one. And the orange one is the yellow one. And then the green one is the. Green one, I guess. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like it. And I'm glad they spawn in the biomes. Let's go to locate biome jagged peaks. Jagged peaks. Okay, looks like I've spawned inside of a cave here. That is a problem. Spectator. I don't know if you'll find the frog in the mountain. You might find them in the tigers, but you might not find them in the mountains. Game mode. Creative. So, yeah. We have a green frog! Same thing here. You kill a magma cube. Kill a mama cube. They will eat, and you will get the green one. Now, how do you breed them? Well, you basically have to use slime balls. They also kill slimes. If you want to breed them, you get them close to water with the slime ball, and then you can get a baby frog. Now, we're going to move on to the last section of the review, which is MUD Trigger. And I probably saved the best for last. Trigger. Let's 
spawn. It's mud time. Mud, 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 mud. You also got mangrove roots too, and mud mangrove roots. Weather. Weather. Clear. Sometimes I can't type. Now we can put this back basically. Now what you want to do that should be shifting into my thing. Now what you can do is you can use a water bottle on dirt and you can get mud! How genius is that? Crafting table. Crafting table. Mud plus wheat. Mud plus wheat equals this. Packed mud. And of course, you have the normal stair, wall, brick, brick, slab. But, yeah, uh, wheat. Wheat plus, I think mud. Wheat plus mud equals packed mud. And then you use the packed mud to go into a stone cutter. Stone cutter. It says sometimes I can't type. Stone cutter. Should be that way. But yeah, you get my point. You can do something with the wood, uh, that regarding the stone cutter. Stone uh, packed, packed. Yeah, you can do that, as you can see. Pretty cool. Can't wait to do that. Now, these are all work in progress textures. They're all work in progress items. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this review of 22W11A. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me whether you like me having my webcam on, and I will probably see you for the first episode of Aquatic Land Season 8 very, very soon. So, yeah. Bye!